nursery. You might put ice cubes in your iced tea, or water in your bathtub, or see steam coming out of your kettle. These are all examples of water in different states, solid, liquid, or gas. Even though the actual molecules and atoms in the water don't change, it is still H2O. Its state changes when you add or remove energy from it. All atoms or molecules, not just water, so molecules like dinitrogen in the air, or compounds like salt, sodium chloride, can typically exist as either a solid, liquid, or gas if they have the appropriate amount of energy. Water is unusual because it can exist as a solid, liquid, or gas under conditions we typically encounter in everyday life. Now, let's imagine that you're at a school dance with low energy where the music is bad so everyone is just awkwardly standing in essentially the same place. Solids are like this because they have the least amount of energy compared to liquids and gases. Solids, like rocks, have fixed volumes and shapes. This is why if you put a rock in a container, it doesn't magically disperse to fill the entire container like a gas would or flow into the container and fit the container's shape like a liquid would. Liquids have more energy than solids, but less energy than gases. They're like if your school dance has a moderate amount of energy. The music is okay, and most people are attempting to move around in a somewhat rhythmic or dance-like fashion. Liquids have a fixed volume, but no fixed shape. So, you can pour a gallon of water into a swimming pool or a bucket. When you do this, it changes shape to fit the shape of its container, but its volume will not change and it is still just a gallon of water. Gases have the most energy. Imagine that suddenly everyone's favorite song comes on at the dance, and so everyone is infused with energy as they quickly move around. Gases have no fixed volume or shape. They will disperse to fill the shape and volume of whatever vessel they are in. So if you release helium from a balloon, it will disperse to fill up the volume and shape of your house. By changing their energy levels, liquids can boil into gases, solids can sublime into gases or melt into liquids, liquids can freeze into solids, and gases can deposit into solids or condense into liquids. An easy way to remember sublime versus deposit is that if something is sublime, then it's magnificent or awesome. So when solids get so much energy, they become so awesome that they sublime into a gas full of energy. But then, when you take away all of a gas's energy, it deposits itself into a low energy solid, like a deposit placed into a bank that will stay there without moving. Okay, so let's summarize. There are three states of matter, solids, liquids, and gases. A solid has a fixed volume and shape. A liquid has a fixed volume, but no fixed shape. A gas has no fixed volume or shape. And too little energy will bring a school dance to a standstill, like a solid, while too much energy will have them bouncing around like particles in a gas. Neelay's chemistry.